there are some of our readers who contacted us because their Galaxy S20 can't receive calls. This problem isn't really new. In fact, we have encountered so many complaints before about this specific issue. But don't worry, if you have a problem like this, it's often pretty minor that you may be able to fix it by doing one or a couple of procedures. In this video, I will show you how to fix Galaxy S20 that can't receive calls. Calling issues are common and pretty annoying, but not necessarily hard to fix. Sometimes, it's just due to a minor glitch in the system or a problem with the phone app. With that said, here are the things you have to do to fix a problem like this. First solution, perform the forced restart. The very first thing that you have to do if your phone can't receive calls is to refresh its memory. As long as the SIM card is seated properly and your phone is getting a good reception, a forced restart may do the trick. Here's how it's done. Press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds. This will force your phone to turn off and power back on. Once the logo shows on the screen, release both keys and wait until the device has finished rebooting. When the reboot is finished, make sure the signal is good and then try calling your number to see if your S20 can now receive a call. Second solution, reset the network settings. This will bring all network services back to factory defaults. If your Galaxy S20 can't receive calls due to issues with one of the network services, then this procedure will be enough to fix it. That is of course, if it has a good signal and that your account doesn't have a problem at all. Follow this guide to reset the network settings on your phone. Swipe down from the top of the screen, and then tap the settings icon. Find and tap general management. Touch reset. Tap reset network settings. Tap the reset settings button. If prompted, enter your PIN, password, or patterns. Finally, tap reset. When the network reset is finished, try calling your number to see if it rings. If not, follow the next procedure. Third solution call your service provider. If the first two solutions fail to fix the issue, then what you have to do next is to call your service provider. They will be able to provide you with information or answer your questions as to why your new device can no longer receive calls. If it's a problem with your account, then you'll be advised what to do. If it's a network issue, then you will be advised when the problem will be fixed. As far as calling issues are concerned, those are the only things you need to do, although there are times when you have to reset your phone to fix firmware issues. But you should do that after calling your service provider. If the representative asks you to reset your phone, then make sure you back up your important files and data before doing so. You may find it difficult to retrieve them if they get deleted during the reset. That's it, I hope that this troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.